Hello, my name is Holly Wood, and this is my presentation on automated dispensing machines. I bet you're wondering how micro markets actually work. Well, perfect timing. This slide is going to explain that. Micro markets are unattended retail spaces where employees can purchase food, beverages, and personal items. Most micromarkets feature refrigerators for housing fresh foods, as well as shelves for displaying dry goods and non-perishable items. They also sell miscellaneous items like headache medication, heartburn medication, and other things that you might find yourself needing throughout the workday. Micromarkets designs are unique to each business since their layout is customized to fit the location. The markets are supported by automated payment kiosks the kiosks um, do require a hard hookup, meaning that they're plugged directly into an ethernet cord and a source of power. Not to mention, if you do choose the refrigeration options, you'll need to be able to power those as well. Um, customers are able to pursue the options available since there's no um, barrier separating them from the items for sale. Sorry. On this slide, we're going to review the characteristics and features of the micro markets. The kiosk that we previously mentioned on the other slide allow for you to create an account that is accessed by fingerprint, associate number, or email. The accounts can be used at other kiosks, even if they're multiple states away. This is an important benefit to consider when you have multiple locations um, or employees that work in multiple offices. Currently, the kiosks offer Spanish, English, and French language options. They are potentially looking into more options. It's just not in the here and now. Um, for associates that prefer not to make an account, they can still use the machine in guest mode. Um, this warns the user that they will be forfeiting any change if cash is used. Here we're going to review the benefits. So the kiosks that we've mentioned, they do allow for many different forms of tenure. The consumers may pay with cash, phone, and or debit or credit cards. Now, since they do not accept change, you don't have to worry about your change getting stuck, which is still a possibility with the traditional vending machines. Having a refrigerator unit as part of the micro market allows customers to have fresh fruit, an assortment of beverages, and even packaged meals. Now, the global market accounts, um, which are the accounts that you would create, they have been established and they offer loyalty programs and incentives. The micro markets are actually designed to meet the requirements of the American with Disabilities Act and shoppers can take their pick of fresh and dry foods and beverages stored in cooling trays, shaving dishes, refrigerators, bulk bins, dry food dispensers, and many other options. It just depends on the unique design that the company comes up with. Now we're at the part where we're going to review reviews and suggestions. Now, most of these are from personal experience. When we were in the office at GEICO about two years ago, 
we replaced all of our vending machines with micro markets. So I do have experience using these machines and most of these are from that personal experience. Now, things that I noticed was that no training was made available to the associates and the user interface was not very intuitive. Um, there was a lot of crowding on the screens, so you really had to read through every little section. It was hard to determine what were ads for certain items versus what you actually needed to click on to process the endorsement. Um, the initial screen did not have a scan now option. It had a million other options, but that was not one. And that led many people in the beginning to believe that they had to create an account prior to making a purchase, which was not ideal. Um, now, if the user signs up for an account with their email or associate information and they can't recall their password, the process to recover the password can take much longer than the allotted 15 minute to 30 minute breaks that we were allowed. Um, it did generate an email sent to your you know, work computer that you then had to reset your password through. Um, but most people, especially in a call center, they do not have time to stand around at the machine, run to a computer, run back to the machine. Um, so most people just you know, forfeited the item at that point. Um, another issue was if the vendor did not scan in an item into inventory, then the system would not recognize the barcode when scanned for purchase. So even though you're holding the item that you want in your hands, the system would view it as a theft, even if you scanned another item of the same value. So that was a problem. Continuing on with a few more issues that were found, um, one of the big deals was theft. Although many operators knew early on that theft in micro markets would be a point of concern, few anticipated just how big of a cost and burden it would be. Multiple companies have experienced similar theft concerns and spent countless hours reviewing video footage to address the issue. In addition, the open concept of the micro market can potentially lend to too much touching of the items for sale, leading to the spread of germs. Now that we've talked about a few of the problems, let's review the possible enhancements that we could make. Um, personally, I would recommend adding pressure sensitive shelving, digital locks and signage. Digital shelves are a great option to ensure that a transaction is made after a product is taken off the shelf. If a transaction is not made after a product is recorded as taken off the shelf, the system will alert you. And then also signage should never be underestimated. Both digital and hard copies are recommended by the vending market watch. So to really 
um, let customers know that there is repercussions and we are watching and signs can really lend to that. Um, now on to making the user interface simpler for beginner users. My first recommendation would be listing um, very clearly on the first page your three main options and this would clear out a lot of the confusion um, for people that are using it for the first time. The three options that I'd like to see on that screen would be log into your account, create an account, or a third guest option that would allow you just to continue on to the scanning portion. This would really help customers that do not want to create an account um, to have direct access to purchasing. Continuing on with our improvements. Now, I would make recovering your password much easier. This should be able to be done within the main kiosk and not require that a link be sent to a separate email. This would be a much faster process for customers who are working on a time crunch. Then I would focus in on replacing most of the unhealthy items that traditional vending machines offer with more health conscious choices. Another suggestion to improve the overall experience is to allow the users to purchase items that may have been missed by the vendor. In order to do this, a log must be created and sent to the vendor when an item that is not scanned into inventory is currently being purchased. This would allow them to update or remediate their records. Lastly, there are no standards for micro market shelves related to ADA compliance. I would recommend that the designers be more proactive in this area. Having the most popular items or um, most purchased items on the middle shelves to lower shelves to accommodate for those in wheelchairs. 